G'day guys, Googs here. I'm not going to talk about the plebiscite today because I think I've done enough on that subject now and it's, if you've been following my videos, uh, you'll be aware of my, my stance on this issue and if you haven't then you can go back and you can have a view of those videos. So today I'm going to talk about hidden racism and the language of hidden racism because this is very important that we understand that there is a secret language of racism. Bill Mayer correctly defined this as the prejudice of lowered expectations. But let's call it for what it is, it's, it's racism. I hear a lot of people today uh, with this idea of, of white guilt. Now I'm not saying that these people don't feel guilty about what has happened in the past insofar as what uh, the, the horrible things, and they are horrible things, that people like the British Empire did inflict upon inhabitants of the nations that they conquered, okay, or settled, depending on which term you prefer, or invaded. Now, that's fine, except for the fact that then this guilt means that there must be reparations, right? Because you are guilty. That's the implication. And what they say is these people have systemic racism against them, even though they can't point out the exact systems of governance. Because when we talk about systems, especially in a democratic uh, nation, we are actually talking about governmental systems. And they say, you know, what white people have power over Aboriginal people or whoever it may be. Now that's fine under colonial rule, because that's absolutely true, but once you bring in equality laws, that suddenly ceases to be correct. However, these folk then go on to say things such as the following. These people need help in order to reach the brass rings of white society like that exists for white people as well, but still, they say, you know, the, they need help. How do they help them? Do they actually uh, say, look, you can do anything you want, you can achieve anything you want, depending on if you, you know, you're smart enough or you're talented enough to get there, but you can give it a crack. Give it a crack, you can do this, you can achieve. Or do they say, no, 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 we, we will give you. We will give you help. We will throw money at you. You need help. Aboriginals don't do as well in education. So you can't achieve this, so we'll give you help. We'll give you bonuses, we'll give you extra teaching, we'll give you extra classes. You know, I, I, I call it the effect of the poor little Aboriginal. That's fucking racist. Because you are, by doing that, these folk, by doing that, are saying that Aboriginal people are not capable as homo sapiens of achieving. We've got plenty of evidence to say that's completely wrong, but that's the idea. Oh, we, ha we as white people have all the power and all the privilege historically, as well as today, so therefore we have to put these people down continuously by telling them that they can't achieve as highly. Power plus prejudice. What a load of crap. There are many white people who are on the dole. Many. Are these aberrations? Did they fall through the cracks? Well, some of them may have fallen through the cracks, but a lot of them are there because they weren't capable of going any further or didn't want to. Okay? There are many white people in jail. Did they fall through the cracks? Is there some systemic reason why they committed the crime or did they decide that they wanted to commit that crime and do it? Or even if it's a heat of the moment thing, where's their help? And this is the thing that I like to point out to people. Racism isn't just calling people names. It's oppression. That's the truth of racism. And by singling out particular racial groups 
and saying that they're not capable of achieving, so therefore we must give them everything so that they have the chance to achieve, even though they can if they worked hard, and that goes for everybody. That's racist. That's terrible. That's horrifying. I remember a case when I was younger um, of a friend uh, of, of my girlfriend who at this time now is, is my partner and saying, well, why am I getting all this extra help? Why doesn't my friend get all this extra help? And this person was an Aboriginal. And they go, well, because they're not Aboriginal. He goes, well, that's not fair. No, I'm not taking that. And that's, that's, that's because that person, I think, recognised at that point that they were being called lesser than their friend. I don't call anybody lesser than me. Okay? You may be less intelligent than me. I don't know. But if you are, so what? Do you contribute to society? Okay. If you don't, okay, fine. You've probably got kids. Do you raise your kids good? Great. Fine. I'm cool with that. I'm down with that. You may be 10 million times smarter than me, which I'd probably say would be a hell of a lot of people. I know it would be a hell of a lot of people. And, you know, I don't judge them as greater than me. Why? Because they're not. You know, at the end of the day, we all end up six foot down in a freaking wooden box. Either that or burnt to ashes. Let's drop this race shit. It's really not helpful to say that a, group, a particular group of homo sapiens based only, only on the melanin content of their skin or a few, few bloody facial structures that are a little bit different are somehow less capable than anybody else. We need to stop this shit. It is wrong. It is racist. I believe that everybody has the opportunities they have. And if you want more opportunities, you can go out and you can make those opportunities. You can make it work for yourself. And I don't give a shit what colour your skin is. We've had Aboriginal senators in our parliament. Famous Aboriginal sports stars in just about every single sport, if not every single sport. We have had Aboriginal artists of the highest calibre. We have had Aboriginal musicians of the highest calibre. We still have them. Jessica Malboy is an example. We have them on boardrooms. Okay, there's not a lot of them. They're still there, which means that you can achieve as an Aboriginal person. So I'm sick and tired of these people with all the white guilt saying that these people are not capable. It's racist and it's evil. To judge somebody as capable or incapable on the colour of their goddamn skin. It is also racist, by the way, just as an end note, to say that a certain group of people are evil, abhorrent and disgusting because of the acts of their ancestors. That is also evil and it is also racist. Let's stop throwing you know, people's skin colour as an excuse for people's behaviour. Let's stop using it as an excuse to belittle our fellow Australians. We are all in this together. And it's time we all accepted history, accepted each other, helped each other in pragmatic ways of, hey, you can achieve, you can do it if you want to. It's going to be hard, it's going to be difficult. But you don't climb to the top of the mountain by, by escalator and actually feel like you've achieved anything. Anyway, that's some of my thoughts on this issue. I'm Googs, and I'll catch you later. Uru.